I feel like I'm the <laughs> with the superpowers, Superman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Especially when I'm shooting square format, it's uh, it's really good uh, angle of view. Hi guys, my name is Matti Suonto and I'm a photographer. Today I'm in the studio with my good friend Edgar and our lovely model Emma here. And we're gonna make some portraits and uh, let's see how it's gonna come out. So my idea, what I'm planning to do is gonna be like me in black and white. I wanna shoot uh, in black clothes, black and white clothes. They're gonna be quite contrasty. And I wanna try to use light and a hat. The hat would what will create a shadow on the face. So you won't see the face, you will see only the shape of the hat. And she's gonna have a black coat, what's gonna be also contrasty. You might see silhouettes and might see some uh, detail. But I have never tried it, I have no idea. We'll try and see how it's gonna happen. But I believe it's gonna happen. Yeah, I need to, because I went quite low. I have the ceiling in the corners, but it's really easy in Photoshop. Uh, you select the area, shift F5, content aware, and that's done. Okay. So I have, and it's nice that you have blonde hair, yeah, that uh, if, if they will come a little bit that. out, <laughs> so the shadow should be around your face, but the hair, we have the wind blower, what blow your oh, wow. hair out. So there might be some detail. So it sounds amazing in my head. Probably we need two lights on the background. So the background is very, very white. This what was in photography is called high key. And in 90s fashion, it was really, really popular. They blown out the background. So you're so gonna do the, some like 19 fashion type of shot. Yeah, the lighting style probably gonna be similar when it's gonna be very contrasty. The blacks and the shadows and the whites. And we have lovely black, white hair, black white skin <laughs> model. So we'll see. I will, this is gonna be one light, you're gonna be coming from here. And this can be the main light, which will light you up. Or we will try just with only one light, maybe. So yeah. anyway, you're gonna be standing here. Can you go like that? And if the strong light is coming from here, mm. it should be like everything is lit up, but your face should be in a shadow that we won't see much detail. So how, <laughs> how did you like Edgar's work? I mean, it, it yeah. took his time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a couple of minutes. <laughs> no, but he's like super good photographer. <laughs> I felt like we are communicating very well. <laughs> and if I'm doing something like different, moving differently, he's like, oh yeah, that's good, that's good. So it helps me a lot when I'm like going on the right way. So that you can, you can, you can hold it like this with both hands. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Your, I like your hair when it kind of yeah, it comes out like that. Mm. Yeah, and then the, the beanie. Okay, Should we first try without the beanie? Because I'm afraid after we put the beanie yeah, on, then... Yeah, it will be like... Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's first we try a couple try. of shots yeah. without yeah. the beanie. Yeah. But first, let me set the light. I'm going to take down all these Edgar's multiple setups because these are all useless. I'm just going to use one light. First, I like to see how the light is before I then pull out my camera. Um, I like to do it this way. Today, I'm shooting with the brand new Sony A7 Mark IV, which is on loan from Sony Finland. They are always so kind and they let me borrow this camera. And my lens is this uh, Samyang 50mm f1.4, also a brand new lens. Also on loan from Focus Nordic, they represent Samyang here in Finland. So let's see how this combo performs. And uh, I'm gonna shoot square format today. And uh, it's always good to take a proper look uh, because when you're shooting, you can't see every detail, every piece of hair, how it's, how it's going. So like for, for example, this, this I don't, I'm not sure if this looks very good. I think we have to, you see the strand of hair there? So. I think it looks cute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. I want to I want to get a picture without that. So without that. <laughs> yeah. Then I then I have a choice. I can photoshop it, but uh, it's so easy it's just to put it put back it, there. Put it yeah. Back there. Yeah. yeah. So let's lower your chin just a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah, that's good. 
perfect. Mm, I think it's better like this. Yeah, I, I think both are good. How come my exposure is different? Oh, oh no. I accidentally moved something. Oh, no. it, 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 it doesn't matter, it's not a big thing. Let's take a few more pictures. I'm so excited. I haven't been shooting in a studio for a long, long time. And this is so nice. But we, yeah, I want, I want a couple of smiling pictures. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's, so let's do it again. Pull your hands up just a little bit higher up, yeah. And like a little bit squeeze more. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's really nice, yeah. Beautiful. And you lower your chin just a little bit. Yeah, that's good. But this is also, it's also nice. I like when the hair is yeah, kind of... Yeah, I like the hair. It goes yeah. like some different way there. Yeah. yeah. Not bad. Mm. Do you like them? Uh, when I look at the... <clears throat> when I look at them on, the, on, on my camera, I like them. But of course, you decide uh, what you see in this video, if they look good or not. I like them <laughs> so far here. What do you like the most about the uh, setup? Uh, well, my setup. Yes, your setup. Well, um, I love this big light. This is really super nice. It gives such a nice even light and I can work with only one light. <laughs> and these LED lights are of course nice when you, you see what you get all the time. And sometimes the strobes are nicer for the model maybe because they are so not so mm -hmm. bright all the time. Yeah. But for the photographer, especially for a beginner, if you're a beginner, these LED lights are just a no-brainer pretty much. Yeah, you learn to see how the light falls on you. Yeah, yeah, Rather exactly. Flash, you see, you you see what you get all the mm -hmm. time. So what do you think about Matte? It was very <laughs> simple, but the pictures were perfect. I'm trying to control my subject and the background separately here. That's why I have uh, two different lights. This is my key light for her and the uh, another light back there for the background. I'm using that black background so it's easier to control than a white or a light colored background. With black, I can make it really bright if I want, just by adding more light, and I can make it almost black without adding any light. So, simple, simple light. But you know, most uh, or many, many, many fashion photos and also portraits, but especially fashion photos, are made with uh, simple light like this. Just one, one uh, light. light and maybe one on the background, but usually, or many times, <laughs> they have just one big light source and one of the upsides of this kind of a light is that um, because the lighting is not very, <clears throat> sorry, very like tight, it allows your model to move around and the light is still nice. It looks nice. But if you make like a really tight, like a spotlight on her face and all kinds of rim lights, then if she moves a little bit, then the light is not good anymore. With this kind of a light, she can move around and turn her head and whatever, and the light is still good all the time. Matti, are you happy? I'm pretty happy. Of course, it's dangerous to say anything at this point because I'm sure when I look at these pictures on a big screen, I'm going to see some things that I can't see now. But I'm pretty happy, especially considering that this is my first studio shoot for many, many years. Welcome back. But you are doing great. <laughs> Thanks. So, Edgar, now are you going to set up again 10 more lights? Nah, um, I will follow your simple technique. <laughs> Sometimes it's the less is better. There's people say that, so it should be. Sometimes. Try it. Try it. You, yeah, might, I, you I, might like it. <laughs> to, to, to be honest, I really love the big light as well. I have never worked with such big light before, but I like... Um, you, like you said, you need there's enough from one light and model can actually, she can move, she can turn, twist, step back, forth and everything will be lit up properly. But if you have, like you said, small light and it's hard, you are, you are stuck in a small frame, like move like that and yeah. nobody like that. That's no. it. <laughs> hey, Edgar, can you put... Uh, I'm going to call this cheating. You are using my lighting setup here. <laughs> uh, let me... Let, let <laughs> Cheating, cheating. <laughs> yes, I'll accept it. I cheat, I'm cheating. <laughs> I will probably change the light to make it more contrasty, make it more harsh. So it will be a little bit different from yours still. All right. But uh, yes, the positioning is the same.
with the hands like pulling pulling down and leave or put the hand, na nails in the hair and keep it there yeah yes yes and uh, head a little bit down and look like that into the camera from from the eyebrows what kind of an exposure are you getting uh, right now i'm doing uh, ISO 400. Why? I use a little bit ISO, so it adds a little bit grain, so the picture is not like pure clean, clean, clean. It adds a little bit that uh, vintage feel. And uh, shutter speed is 100 and f7.1. Why I use always big f number in the studio? Because if I move her back and forth and she moves, she is always in focus. All her clothes are in focus and head and everything. I like how everything's so dark. Maybe I will give you the other jacket, it's pure black, then you're gonna match with the colors, but otherwise I quite like it, the way it comes out. So right. the reason is why I want to turn her head, because very important is that if I take a picture, I see from each side the white on your eyes. If the eyes is too in the corner, it's, it looks weird or looks off. So every time it's very important to have on each side the white side. And if you're sideways, then the nose can't go behind the cheek. And you will always know that uh, if you look to the camera, then you're not, not like that, so we understand is it something is wrong. So anyway, straight back. Did you, uh, under did you understand something? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. <laughs> did you understand something? Maybe I spoke too fast. Did you guys understand anything what I tried to say? How do you like it so far? It's going well. I'm happy. I'm happy I haven't got the final shots yet, but I'm happy what I have already. What? You haven't got the final shot yet. I need to try one thing, you know, that with the flying stuff and... Two hours later. <laughs> <laughs> Setting the lights up. So, let's go to the light. <laughs> so you can see me better, clearly. So my idea is now the last thing we're gonna try. Uh, she's gonna have like silky white shirt. But, and have silky purple material. It's very close to that color, but it was color of the year 2021. So it's quite big material. I want it to be in the foreground and in the background, and it uh, should be reflecting the lights, what can add, should add a lot of interest and should reflect some light back on her face. I hope it won't add color or tint in it, but we will see. If you don't try, you don't know. They start from this way and the, the wind blower gonna make them move, so it's the light. <laughs> so it's coming like... You look really good, are you enjoying yourself? <laughs> yeah. So I hope it's gonna work. So I will do not full length from here. I will try to do some... Uh, so I hope this is gonna look amazing. <laughs> I feel like I'm the... with the superpowers, Superman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you come a little bit sideways and then I try to put over your head. Yeah, you are like inside, absolutely. Yeah, no, but may, let me try. I will, I will clamp it on me, so it comes from me. Can you move, I need from, it should be more from above you. Like, give me that uh, from the top. What a and crazy plan. Do you still need me to? Yeah, hold it up. Okay. And let's go. Let's... My magic hand. So this one needs to be closer, because I'm, oh, ah! sorry. No. Always close, serious, serious, I need you serious. You're doing serious shit, Emma. Turn, turn on to the other side. <laughs> so my settings are 100, f6.3, ISO 400. I never use autofocus, but the here I have to use because I don't see where I'm focusing. And uh, I rely on the camera that it's focused properly. Okay, let's see how this looks. Now I have this smaller softbox here. It should give me a little bit uh, harder light, harder light, <laughs> a little bit uh, uh, like harder shadows here. The difference is not that much, but it's still a little bit harder than the, the big, the huge light. Can you remove those high heels because then it's easier for me. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're too tall with those because I'm such a shorty. <laughs> and now can you just lower your chin just a little bit more? This Sony works really well, this A7 Mark IV and the Samyang 50mm is just perfect for today's shoot. Especially when I'm shooting square format, it's, uh, it's really good uh, angle of view, this 50. Oh, yeah, let's try with the beanie. And uh, may, 
Yeah, black bean, please. It looks almost too good. I mean, I'm sure I'm gonna find something wrong when I look at this on a big screen. When you have a good model, it's hard to take bad pictures. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Emma, for making the job <laughs> easy. I think it was a good day. How did you enjoy it? How, I hope you enjoyed everything. <laughs> yes, it, was, it has been like really long day and I'm a little bit exhausted, but I think we got a really good shot today. So I'm very happy with that. Yeah, thanks a lot, Emma, for joining no, in. Fun. And uh, Edgar too, thanks for joining. And um, <laughs> I think we had a, had a nice day, but it was a long day. Yeah. And, uh, it was fun. I will add as well that uh, thank you Emma, for coming. No you problem. did an amazing job. <laughs> We, I got the photos what I wanted, what I needed, what I had yesterday like visualized in my head. Thanks you too for joining in and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Bye bye.